All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Um, it is super freaking early, way before my shift starts, so I can uh, do this video for you guys. Uh, and I have plenty of stuff to cut here. So we're gonna test the Giltec Ruck, and we're gonna see if maybe this is a, a suitable type of cutting tool that maybe you guys who work in like uh, plants or in a warehouse, a uh, mail room or um, auto body shops, truck shops, carpenter, masonry, whatever you're doing. Um, we'll see if these little things are something that you may be interested in. So this is the Giltec Ruck. Um, I do have two of them. One of them stays on my keychain just on my on my car keychain and um i use this all the time it opens letters just fine so but we're gonna see if it'll open some things that are a little bit heavier maybe you're gonna be using uh, so we have here a fedex box um some decal stickers some regular cardboard um this plastic type of cardboard and also like um this like type of carp uh, plastic, but it's got like a carpet fabric inside it. Um, I probably wouldn't use these to cut, car uh, cut carpet, so I'm not even really going to try. And uh, I'm gonna see if I have some of this rubber floor stuff to see if maybe that works too. Um, but anyway, that's what we're gonna do, so stick around. Okay, so before we start cutting, there are a couple of different razor blades you can put in here um i generally just like to keep these corbid tips in there cor or corbide by stanley uh razors um and i like these they stay sh sharp for a while um but in my sheffield or in my gerber i can't remember which one it was came this really thick one i think it might have been my sheffield uh, right here. I oh, know because I still had the factory one inside this. It must have been the Gerber. I think it was which I actually left at home But uh, the Gerber and this one here this Sheffield is are my go-to I really really love the Sheffield um, because it's a lightweight plastic $5 Razor blade and it, it it'll cut you know, but it doesn't this thing is just so cool and um, the problem with these are is that they're $30 and like I said I have two of them so you know that's 60 bucks right there so are they worth it I mean yeah for EDC these are the cool things for EDC but you know do they work you know is the question so to get the blade out it's really kind of simple there's a double groove in there as you can see right you're gonna push down put it into the bigger groove and and pull it uh, right out of there and they come right out very easily and do it in reverse to put it back in and they're just super fun to play with but you know this whole video is to see if they work so we have like i said some things we're going to cut and uh let's just do the cardboard first and, and see how that works now since a lot of you guys are at the workplace working we're going to wear gloves i like to wear these lightweight gloves by mission um and they're just cheapy work gloves but they do work great so let's just get a piece of cardboard here and keep in mind I've had this razor blade in there already for probably at least about two weeks um, cutting multiple things with it so get it right in this is a thin piece of cardboard that goes in the liner we'll get to the thicker stuff but you know it Cuts right through that easily. Now, one thing I will notice is that it tends to get hung up on the bottle opener section. So, when you're cutting something and it's like this, you know, it tends to. Well, maybe not that time, but sometimes uh, stuff can get caught up on that little bottle opener section. Just cut a few of these stickers here, see how this works. 
This works really good for this. Now, if you really had to get in detail work, because sometimes when you're doing decal work, it's required that you get really close to the lettering. And if you have a cutting board, this is definitely, you know, a plus. I'd say that's a good, good pass. Let's see if it'll do two at a time. Maybe you're stressed for time. You want to do a couple at once. I'd say that's a non-issue. Okay, cool. I'd say this is actually kind of fun and it makes cutting stuff much more funner than pulling out something like your Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and potentially ruining your, your nice knife. This is a cheap knife, but you know, I don't know, this is fun too, but there's something about these little razor blade things that are really fun. So let's try this uh, this stuff here. This is like a carpet plastic type. <laughs> Not bad actually. Now I've cut a lot of stuff with this blade already and it is still functioning great. So, you know, these corbide blades are one thing, but what I'm really looking for is the tool itself. Is it easy to hold this thing and, and cut things with it, you know? Because you got your finger ramp close to here. Um, you know, obviously cutting with, with bare hands is a bit more dangerous but it's a little bit more controllable you can still go back here i guess with i usually always wear gloves when i'm cutting things at work uh so it's great it's actually performing much better than I thought. All right, so now let's try something a little bit thicker. This here cardboard, this is like plastic, plasticky cardboard, and it can get tough to cut it. See how it has these lines in it? I don't know if you can see them. Just like all cardboard does, but it makes it easier to cut it, obviously, this way than it is the other way. So, see how it works.
now that's that hang up I was talking about right there um, it can get hung up on stuff like that so something to be aware of I just think that's a simple design flaw that's easily fixed maybe by putting it on the bottom part or I don't know something else but I, I really don't like that at all maybe put it in the back in the back of it actually but if you know it's not a big deal if you're paying attention and you you know if you're not paying attention you go like that you're gonna catch but if you just go like that good to go okay so now this is probably the thickest cardboard that you would probably run into FedEx tube and um, just see how it does Cause you're going over a double double layer here. So, for shits and giggles, this one does great with that blade. Let's try my black one, which I don't really cut anything with this one, except for mail letters at home and pizza boxes. It's about all I cut with this one so far, but I have cut with it. went in there a little bit. I don't think it was locked. <clears throat> this gold one, these gold blades that they come with are definitely not as good as these Corbid tips by Stanley. So they come with these gold ones. Um, pretty. They look great in there, but they don't have much cutting sharp. They don't have great edges. They don't hold a great edge. Um, but they're okay for, you know, let's just, for shits and giggles, let's just cut up a couple of stickers. I mean, it is a razor blade, so it's sharp. You guys see that? I mean, you know, it's great. It's it's not, I don't, in my opinion, it's uh, not as great as this one. Okay, so maybe you're a firefighter or something, right? And for some odd reason, you need to cut a cone. We're gonna do it. So let's see if it'll cut the cone. It's a pain in the ass, but... It definitely does it. This is probably the, th the thickest stuff I could find here, so... As if it'll cut through this. 
it can cut through some pretty heavy duty stuff. I mean, it's not ideal, because obviously if I had something like this, it's gonna go, you know, I threw it pretty easily, but you know, if you need to cut something like like this, not that you would be cutting it around a circle like that anyway, but maybe like gardening, you know that gardening plastic stuff that they have for gardens? It's pretty similar to this. I mean, it takes a lot of work, but it does cut it. This takes nothing to do it. But, you know, so obviously it's not meant for heavy duty stuff, but overall still pretty cool. So one thing that I have noticed with these um, is that after a while, they just seem to kind of like bother your arm or your hand after just cutting for a while um and i think it's just my hand cramps up i've been using my hands um you know pretty much my whole life but uh anyway anyways something like this where you have just a better grip on it is always gonna be better you know it's gonna cut better it's gonna be more comfortable and honestly to be to be frank with you guys and be real with you guys it's going to be more practical but um these things are cool and i definitely give them out of a 10. i'm going to go ahead with an eight only because of the bottle opener and getting stuck and you know and, and and when you're working and you're rushing around and you're trying to get to, well you shouldn't really be rushing around take your time but um you know when you're when you're cutting stuff and you're and you're doing work um it can get hung up and that can just be a little bit of a pain yes but other than that honestly i'd give it like maybe like an eight and a eight and a half because they are awesome they do cut well and they're really not as bad as i thought with with the size of them um they cut pretty much all tasks that i use them for now as far as cutting carpet and and heavier duty stuff i'm just not going to go for this this is just not what i'm using but um, you know, for that kind of work at any way, you're going to have a bigger cutter tool on you. But as far as like a work EDC blade, uh, you know, thing goes, this, these are great guys. Uh, definitely worth the money as far as the aluminum build goes and just, just the fun factor of them. And if you're somebody who's on Instagram and you're, you know, take pictures of your gear and stuff or, or whatever, they just look, it just looks cool, you know? So, uh, Gil Tech Ruck, those are the, that's the extensive testing review of it. And, um, like I said, I really like these things, guys. These are awesome. And, uh, you know, let's give them a 9. Let's go a 9 out of a 10 um, because they're fun. They're fun as hell. Uh, I could sit here all day long and play with this thing, you know. Oh, and one thing that I did forget to mention that, say you're going on an airplane. Obviously, you would have to take your Victorinox off there. Um, but if you're going on an airplane, uh, you can remove the blade out of there. Now it's just simply a bottle opener and then you get to where you're landing or whatever, go to the local hardware store or probably anywhere and stick a freaking $2, two cent pack of razor blade or $2 pack of razor blades in there. And you have yourself a cutting tool, uh, whether you're out of country or wherever you are. So these are just great worth the 30 bucks i think they even make a more expensive one next we're going to do the big idea design one see how that works i've heard it was a little bit better in design um but um i'm honestly i'm thinking about shaving that down off there and i don't use it i don't really drink beer or nothing so i don't really need a bottle opener for anything but anyways that's it guys hope you like the uh, review and um it's just about freaking 6 30 in the morning so it's time for me to get to work. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. Uh, Cause I would like to, I uh, forgot to mention this actually. I'd like to do a giveaway on my Instagram soon. 
but only if my Instagram reaches a thousand followers. So if everybody from my YouTube channel goes over to my Instagram, um, I, that should put me at like 16, actually like 2,000 followers. I will do a giveaway on my Instagram and it will be just about as good as the giveaway I gave away out on YouTube a few months back in July when I gave away to, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name, but uh, awesome subscriber. He's been here since the beginning, so I'm so glad that he won. Um, and he got a full Maxpedition EDC kit prepared by me. And I put this kit together and I gave it to him. It had bandana in it. It had a knife in it. It had a note bat pack in it. Um, you know, uh, a couple other things. But in this in the subscriber giveaway for Instagram, I'm gonna get. I want to give away. I, this is the plan. If nobody goes over to my Instagram and follows it, then I'm not gonna do it. I, when I hit a thousand from my YouTubers, follow um, subscribers. You just all have Instagram, so I would like to do the giveaway for there. But if you're, um, and you don't have to be necessarily a subscriber to YouTube and Instagram, you just have to be on my Instagram. So, you know, I don't really care as long as it gets to a thousand. And, and that, there'll be like a, a nice O light and a couple other things. Uh, so that is for Instagram. But, um, and my Instagram handle is will underscore more 10. So it's W Y L L underscore m o h r 10 it's not the hard city raindrops instagram okay it's the my personal account will <laughs> the thing will be in the link uh underscore more 10 so go ahead and follow me over there on instagram we'll do a giveaway if i ever get to a thousand um and i hope you guys like the video like share subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace